Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential problem which is 25 raised to the power of 6 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 125 raised to the power of 12. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. Now, we have 25 raised to the power of 6 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 125 raised to the power of 12. So the first thing to do here, to solve for x, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So we have log 25 raised to the power of 6 raised to the power of x. This is equal to log 125 raised to the power of 12. The next step from here, Rock 25 raised to the power of 6 raised to the power of x and rock 125 raised to the power of 12. This is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which can be expressed as n rock a. Now applying this power rule property of logarithm, then we can express rock 25 to the power of 6 to the power of x as 6 to the power of x, then rock 25. This is equal to, on the right hand side, we have rock 125 raised to the power of 12. So this is 12 rock 125. Now, the next step from here, we can express 25 as 5 to the power of 2. And we can express 125 as 5 to the power of 3. Substituting this, we have 6 to the power of x, then rock 5 to the power of 2. This is equal to 12, rock 5 to the power of 3. So applying the power rule property, applying this property again, then here we have 6 raised to the power of x, rock 5 to the power of 2, which becomes 6 to the power of x times 2 rock 5 this is equal to 12 rock 5 to the power of 3 this becomes 12 times 3 rock 5 so the next step from here we simplify rock 5 and rock 5 here so that now we have 6 to the power of x times 2 this is equal to 12 times 3 this is equal to 36 Let's divide both signs by 2 from here, so that now 6 to the power of x, this is equal to, that the 6 divided by 2, this is equal to 18. Again, to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm, that is rock, 6 to the power of x, this is equal to rock 18. Now, we can remember rock 6 to the power of x is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which you can express as n rock a. So applying this property, then rock 6 to the power of x becomes x rock 6. This is equal to rock 18. So let's divide both signs by rock 6 from here. Rock 6. The next step is to, to simplify here rock 6 and rock 6, so that now we have that x is equal to rock 18 over rock 6. Now from here, we can express 18 as 6 times 3. Let's substitute this so that x is equal to rock 6 times 3 divided by rock 6. Now, we have rock 6 times 3. This is in the form of rock A times B, which we can express as rock A plus rock B. Now, applying this logarithm property from applying this logarithm property from here, then we have x is equal to, this is rock 6, divided by rock 6, then plus, here we have rock 3, divided by rock 6. 
The next step is to simplify here so that now we have x is equal to 1 plus rock 3 divided by rock 6 such that rock 3 divided by rock 6 this is in the form of rock a divided by rock b which we can express as rock a to base b so let's apply this logarithm property from here so that now we have x is equal to 1 plus rock 3 to base 6 so this is the value of x this is the value of x the next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation so let's verify from here now if you recall we have that 25 raised to the power of 6 raised to the power x this is equal to 125 raised to the power of 12. let's substitute the value of x from here so that we have 25 raised to the power of 6 raised to the power x which is 1 plus rock 3 to base 6 this is equal to 125 raised to the power of 12. Now, you find that 6 raised to the power of 1 plus rho 3 to be 6, this is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property from here, then we have 25 raised to the power of 6, 6 is raised to the power of 1 times 6 raised to the power of rock 3 to base 6. This should give us a value of 125 raised to the power of 12. Now the next step from here, 6 to the power of rock 3 to base 6. This is in the form of b to the power of rock a to base b. This is equal to a. So let's apply this logarithm property from here. And this implies that 6 to the power of rock, 3 to be 6, essentially this is equal to 3. So let's substitute 3 back to the equation here. So that now we have 25 raised to the power of 6 times 3. This is equal to 125 raised to the power of 12. So the next step from here, again, we can express 25 as 5 to the power of 2. And we can express 125 as 5 to the power of 3. Substituting this here, we have 5 to the power of 2. Then raised to the power 6, multiplying by 3. This is equal to 125. This is 5 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 12 and you find that 6 times 3 this is equal to 18 so we have 5 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 18 this is equal to 5 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 12 so that now 5 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 18 and 5 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 12 this is in the form of a the power of n raised to power m this can be expressed as a to the power of n times m applying this exponent property from here then we have 5 raised to the power of 2 times 18 this is equal to 5 raised to the power of 3 times 12 therefore from here we have 5 raised to the power of 2 times 18 this is equal to 36 and this is equal to 5 to the power of 3 times 12. This is equal to 36. So it's clear here. It's clear that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is equal to 1 plus rho 3 to be 6, actually satisfies the equation.
So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.